Who would have guessed that rebuilding the Jade Chamber would draw out such a massive monster? Oh, for a second there, Paimon really thought the Jade Chamber was gonna be ruined again! Oh, but it's all over now! Who knows if the Lantern Rite can still go on after an incident like that, though? Let's ask Lady Ningguang how things are shaping up for the festival this year. Send this report to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have them delegate each of the tasks on the list to the appropriate departments. Also, be sure to tell them that though the Lantern Rite may be complicated, everything must be done properly. Hello, Lady Mingguang. It's us again! No, of course not. You are my honored guests. And given the looks of you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the Lantern Rite? That's right! So what's on the agenda for the festival this year? As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh, but there is one of particular interest. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. It should certainly be worth your time. Releasing Mingxiao Lanterns has always been at the heart of the Lantern Rite. But with all that has occurred in Liyue as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts. A feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. So, I believe that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence. Something that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. We are currently in the process of placing fireworks at various locations all throughout Liyue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set off all the fireworks in unison, allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. <gasps> Is there something special about the fireworks in Liyue? Fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. When our ancestors first created fireworks, they were originally known as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another while out farming the land, so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. But people's lifestyles began to change after Leo Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tend the fields anymore, so the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. But through our local customs, the pioneering spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the Lantern Rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit of our ancestors. As I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I've left Kuching in charge of the fireworks show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? a few more locations for launching fireworks. 
The show has to be visible all across Liyue, not just in the city. They celebrate Lantern right in Jinsa Village too, you know. <laughs> but... Lady Kuching... What about our budget? The budget is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. If you think the current budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Our aim is to organize a memorable Lantern Rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching. I understand. Good. And please remember, safety first. <sighs> oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. Good to see you. Are you here for the Lantern Rite? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double-checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. Forgive my directness, but if I'm not mistaken, you could just as easily leave these tasks to your subordinates. You've already been working around the clock these past few days. I am sure a break would not be amiss. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Pungi, please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please, take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. Peng Yi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've given you. Yes, Lady Kuching. Don't worry. Good. Ningguang, Traveler, goodbye for now. Please, excuse me, Lady Ningguang. And, uh... Traveler, I must get going. Lady Kuching told me a great deal of information, and I have to write up the plans from scratch again, so time is of the essence. Oh, one moment. I almost forgot. Here, Traveler. This is a launch tube. Lady Kuching said you may be interested, so she had me keep one to give to you. Someone with good handicraft skills should be able to use this to design their very own fireworks. You should try it when you have the chance. Since the Adepti left Liyue Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Qixing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. That said, being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Jiangzhou was responsible for planning the Lantern Rite in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. In the end, the Lantern Rite planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work. So she's naturally the best fit for the job. She's definitely disciplined! No doubt about that! Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Finding balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. I've tried talking to her, but you know how she is. She uses her wit to talk circles around anyone. Traveler, you are quite close to Kuching. Why don't you try talking to her? 
maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you. Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you are able to help. Kuching can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. I'll leave Kuching in your capable hands. can really persuade Kuching to take a break. Even Ningguang herself couldn't manage to convince her. Besides, before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Kuching has been working non-stop without a break. Uh, duh! Come on, everyone knows that. How does she feel deep, deep down inside? Uh, or maybe... Oh, we can ask a friend! You know, someone more knowledgeable about these things. Huh? Zhang Li? Oh, there's no arguing there. Zhang Li it is then! Hmm, Paimon thinks he's still a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Let's go see if he's there! The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water, transitory. <laughs> 